This is my double hook crappy lead. I'm going to show it to you. Fly guy family. Smell wine is always tired, but I'm going to show you. My wife wants me to show y'all the crappy lead. Get a memo, okay? We would buy a crappie read. But I made my own. Pretty cool. Show y'all how it goes. Ah, Alright. Watch that hook for this short. I'm gonna do another video on how I done this, but just for a little example here, instead of buying these here things called crappie reeds, instead of buying these, you can make it on your own. That's how the back of theirs is designed and made. Got their back. These are crappie reeds. This is how I made mine for mom. Sit there right there. First thing I do, you gotta let it out about 10 foot of line to get it. Once you let your 10 foot of line out, how you do this. First you gotta let out some line, okay? I'm gonna pretend I don't have nothing on this line. And I'm gonna do another video on how to tie this. The things that are be easy for bobber stopper. These are bobber stopper that come with the slip band and the beads with it. Find these at Academy, Bass Pro, Walmart. Walmart can be cheaper than Academy. Academy is gonna be cheaper than Bass Pro. So I'll try Walmart first and then go to Academy. Then we're gonna need a pack of these slip parts, okay? These are a big size. I didn't use this one on this line. I need this size right here, okay? So these are the material that'll be needed. Bobber stoppers and a slip part. Okay? After you have a slip part, okay? This is what you do. Okay. We're just gonna pretend I don't have nothing on this line. So the first thing we do is let out about 10 foot of line. You take your rubber band, which is the bobber stopper. You run your line of the bobber stopper through the rubber band. The rubber band comes to the little black part here. So what you would do is get the end of your line. Let's get that in my pocket. You get the end of your line and run it through here through this hole right here. They got a hole through it. They come out on the other side. So you'll run your line through that hole. Boom. Once you get your line on there, you'll pull this rubber band up. The black part go fall off. Once that black part fall off, it's going to look like that. Black part go hit the ground. Rubber band going to be right here. Okay. Once you tie that on there, you're going to add a bead on there. One bead. So it's going to be two beads to do this. We're going to add one bead right there. And the, these two black things on the cart come off. One, two. Once you add that bead on there, you're going to run a line, your line through this hole on the cart. Let's go sit like that. Woo. I always had a short part down and the fat part up. The short part is the part that stick in the top of that cart. So make sure you don't do it, you don't do it like this with the fat part down. Skinny part up, skinny part down, fat part up. So that's gonna go like that. Prime example like this. Bam, there you go. So you got your rubber band, 
you got your barber stopper, you got one bead, and you have this for your cart, that black piece. They go inside the cart, okay? Then you're gonna take your other black part, because the cart comes with two, one bottom, one top. You're gonna put the bottom one on there. Woo. The bottom gonna go skinny part up, fat part down. So that'll be like that. So we're gonna pretend this cart is not here. This cart is not here. I can take this cart off anyway to give y'all a good example on how it's gonna look. So there you go. You got your rubber, you got your bottle stopper, one bead, black part, fat part up, line go through. On that bottom, skinny part go up, fat part down. There you go, right there. Okay, so you got that right there for your car. You don't attach the car yet. You're gonna put rub one, one more bead down at the bottom. That's why you need two beads. One at the top right there. You can see that at the top. And one at the bottom. Once you, re once you hook that part up, let me not get that tangled. Then you're gonna tie your hook. I already tied this hook. I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna show another video on how I tied that hook. What I did was done a loop knot. I loop knot it three times to get that knot in there right there. So I done that top hook like that. So once I do that loop knot on that one, I, I don't attach the hook yet. Once I do that loop knot on that one, I normally do the adjustments or my measurements, as I can say, on my bottom hook. I have my line right there. And I do elbow to fingers, so that's perfect. Elbow first hook, finger second hook. Then I do my other loop knot right there. Once I do that loop knot right there, I add my weight at the bottom with a swivel, bam. Then I attach my hooks. The hooks just go inside the loop, tighten down. One hook, two hooks. Once I do my hooks, I put my cart on there. On this cart, you see I got a hole in the middle. That hole is plugged with foam, so what I do is stick like a clothes hanger. Anything skinny or a toothpick or a clothes hanger will be perfect. Stick that in there to knock that foam out so the black pieces in that line can go through your cart. So what I do, I just attach this like this. The cart gonna come with the split. Get the cart with the split. It's gonna come with the split already. Put your line through that split. Make sure you do that. Make sure your cart slide up and down that line. If it don't slide up down that line, tie it up, kind of work it. Work it. There you go. Sometimes you got to play with it. So normally when you act like that, I grab my knife and go on and get right. Grab a knife. Stick your knife in that pointy part. Put the pointy part down there just to push your line down so it go through that. So it, so it go through that split, because that split is tight. So once you do that, put that down right there. My line on there now, because now my car doing that. Okay? So once you get it like that, you'll slide the top part down, hook it in there. Let that car slide to the bottom. Just make sure your car slides. Take that out, make sure it slide. My car slide now. Bam, we good. This is my double rig crappie G, baby. Double rig with the middle. Handmade by Fly Guy. That's my top. That's my bottom. Hook. And that's my weight. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay fly. Industry Ready Production, PSBeats.com.